What's good y'all? Welcome to the channel. I am Batosai and today we'll be going through my minimal everyday carry. I'm no minimalist, however I do like to follow the philosophy of minimalism in certain parts of my life and my EDC is one of them. So let's get started. First up is the phone. I've been rocking an iPhone 10 for about 4 years and upgraded to a 13 Pro earlier this year. Nothing much to say about it, it's an iPhone, simple, fast, and reliable. I enjoy using iMessage and a few other features. I keep my home screen pretty minimal, just my most used apps with no extra pages. This helps me to be more intentional with the time that I spend on my phone. As we all know, it can be very easy to get distracted and lose track of time. On it is just a generic silicone case from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description if anyone's interested in the same one. It's nothing fancy, gets the job done for a good price. Next up is my wallet. It's a simple black leather card holder from Koss. I found it in store a couple years ago for about 30 bucks, and for the price, I've gotten a lot of use out of it, so I think it's one of the best purchases that I've made. It's subtle and falls in line with that minimal aesthetic that I like to have. It also fits in the minimalist philosophy with buying things with intention. I don't carry cash, so it's not really a problem for me to not have a traditional wallet. This one fits my pockets pretty nicely. It's gotten a nice patina on it for the past two years of use. Not much else to say about it. It's essential for carrying my driver's license, debit card, and credit cards. Up next are my keys. I keep it simple, a set of car keys for my car because having a vehicle is essential for getting around in Houston. I then also have a separate key ring for the remaining keys that I need to have. That key ring is attached to a simple carabiner and I add to it whichever car I'm using that day. It's nice because I can easily attach this to my bag or even my belt loop and not have it take up any space or scratch my phone. If anyone's wondering why my keys look so old, they're from my 1982 Datsun 280ZX Turbo, which I've been having a ton of fun with. I'm not really a car enthusiast, but I do love the Z cars, and this one is a total time capsule. This isn't my daily driver, but it's been my project for around a year now, and it's been a total blast. You get a lot of looks on the road when driving, and you'd be surprised at the number of times I've had someone say they used to own this car. It's an era that I can only wish I experienced because I'm only 26, but I've learned a lot about cars just working on this one, and in the future, I might do a dedicated video on it. Let me know if that's something you'd be interested in to see. I think it'd be kind of fun to take this out on a shoot. Next, I have my Apple AirPods. These are the second generation I believe. I've had these for at least 3 years now and to my surprise they're still working and I've never lost them. I don't have a need to upgrade yet because these do the job just fine. No complaints, they have a clean and minimal design and they fit nicely in my ears. I mostly use them at the gym but it's also nice to have wireless earphones to listen to music or podcasts when doing chores. Next up is a notebook. I like keeping a notebook on me to write things down, whether it's planning out videos, brainstorming, or just jotting down some random ideas. Physically writing things down helps me get a little bit more time with my thoughts, and overall helps me remember more information. I don't have anything fancy, just a dotted moleskin journal, and I could be using my phone, but more often than not, I'll end up off task and distracted. The notebook has one purpose, and I'm more intentional with my time because of it. I love how it's small enough for me to throw into my pocket if I'm not carrying a bag with me. Organization isn't one of my strengths, but having this journal has definitely helped me add some more structure to my task, and I definitely recommend it if you haven't tried it. Now onto one of the last items in my EDC, and that's a Game Boy. 
Now, before I get into why I have this, let's start off with the design. The Game Boy Micro is something special in that it's super compact and actually made from metal. It has great build quality and a clean, minimal design. The footprint is so small that it can fit right into my pocket, taking up no more space than my wallet. Of course, this is something that's purely meant for fun, but there's also a purpose to having this. I'm a firm believer in taking breaks, whether you're working, studying, or just having a stressful day. It's important to let the mind rest and escape for a bit. That's where the Game Boy comes in handy for me. When it's time to take a breather, instead of going on my phone and scrolling through my socials, sometimes I just prefer to play some games. I grew up with the Game Boy Advance SP, and having this really brings me back to a simpler time in life. Last but not least are the bags I used to carry everything, and in my case, I have two options. A simple tote bag for when I'm out shopping and getting groceries, and the other option is a backpack. I'm not a huge fan of those tech bags with multiple pockets, and I prefer the classic design of Jansport bags. Here I have a vintage all leather made in USA Jansport from the mid 90s. It's got this timeless look to it that will never age or be out of style. And that is my everyday carry. It's minimal with intention and a little fun. I'll try to have links to everything in the description, and if you made it to the end, thank you. I appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed it, consider liking the video or even subscribing. I am Batosai, I'll catch you on the next video.